วัสดีครับ Welcome to Beyond Today we are at Chiang Mai and then we are going to visit this fabulous hotel Mandarin Oriental Dalai Tevi Chiang Mai and reverse we have a special guest from Hollywood photographer Christian Downing Hello Hello and then uh, also Kunuk will take us around the hotel to show us how fabulous is this hotel let's go and check it out come on so Kunuk tell us more about this hotel so like our hotel here we built in 2001 Every, everything you see it's all nearly built but with one proposed that we would like to preserve the lifestyle and the atmosphere of Lan Kingdom, the old kingdom of northern Thailand. So the architecture, the trees, the landscape, we built according to the ancient city. Mm. That's I in front of the hotel. Yes, we have the gate, we have the wall, we have the singing bridge, we have the rice barn as the um, symbol of building the city in the past. All right, that is impressive. Right. And the lawn here, this lawn, we built this lawn as a part of the temple. So tell us more about this uh, prayer hall. Yes, prayer hall. Actually, this is a temple, but we call it prayer hall because no monks. Just okay. only the architecture that we would like to preserve the architecture of the old Northern Thai temple or Lana style to be in the hotel. As we built the hotel as a kingdom, so the temple is very important and this is the center of the community. In the past, if there anything happened, people come to the temple. All right, and the lawn here is part of that. Can be for wedding, can be for uh, temple fair, can be for a meeting place. So for the hotel function, this lawn is very popular for the outdoor wedding. I see. And the place that we are standing here, this is a convention hall, or we call it a grand ballroom. We built these up because we, yes, we have a lot of guests who come and have a conference with us. But the special thing about this building is the glass inlay, or the glass mosaic that we have. We put it here in the red wall. This one is a tree of life, and it is um, arts from Laos, from Rung Pabang. That in the past, Lan Na, Northern Thailand and Laos, we used to have the same king. So some culture we have in similar. Then we get the inspiration and some culture that used to belong here in the past to be part of the hotel function. So it's a common part of the Lao culture and arts to use glass in their yes. artwork? Yes, normally in Northern Thai and Burma, we also use the glass in the artwork, but not a lot on the wall like this. Okay. The Laos art, we just put everything on the wall and very spectacular. Yeah. And then this, uh, it's a parrot? Actually, it's a, a naga. A dragon? Yes, uh, you <laughs> may look it's like a dragon, but yeah. this is not a dragon. Dragon in the Chinese, believe, it's the, it's mean a king yep. in power, mm -hmm. but this one we call naga. 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 N -A -G -A -S. It looks like a parrot head though. Yes, we just like made it, the, art, the artist they just made it look like a parrot, but actually it's a snake. It's a snake? It's, yeah, it's a serpent, wow. the king of water, that is the meaning. So he provides us water, a symbol of abundance and fertility as we are an agricultural country. So we do have naga and all the serpent around in right. the hotel. Wonderful. Okay. This is the main lobby. Amazing. This is the lobby? This is the main lobby of the hotel, yes. That is like something you'll find it's just a palace. <laughs> in my dreams. Yes, this is a palace. It is actually the palace that we have the um, inspiration from the um, palace in Burma. Wow. Yes, in the history, we do have some connection between Lana and Burma. And yes, we get the inspiration to have the palace here in the hotel as a melody. So if you come to the hotel, you come to the palace. Wow. Wow. It's first time in my life to stay in a palace. Yes. Welcome to the colonial suite. This is one of the um, standard room, the smallest one in the hotel. The special fe uh, feature of the room is a high ceiling. So your room will look more cozy and comfortable compared to a normal city hotel. Living room, terrace, bedroom, and uh, magnificent bathroom this way. Wow. 
This is great. You know, the bathtub, we have something special for you. It is like color therapy. Color therapy? Yes. So what does it do for you? So sometimes when you feel like tired, okay. you come, soak yourself in the bath and you can change the color and each color will affect your emotions. Mm. So like when you feel blue, sad, come back with a green color. Wow. When you jet lag, want to be calm, come back with a blue color. If you want some imagination, mm -hmm. go with your yellow color. This is another popular, popular type of the villa in the hotel. We call the Glen the last villa with plunge pool. Okay. Share please. So downstairs would be the living room with the rice field view. This is the very natural setting of the rice field. And in the morning you see the buffalo and the farmer who come and then play the Thai flute to wake you up in the morning. Oh, wow. <laughs> and wow. also the plants will out there, the jacuzzi, and upstairs is the bedroom. Great, wake up call. Yes, nice. uh, very nice. Yeah, nice normal. traditional way than the ring, <laughs> the sound of ring exactly. on the phone. There's nothing worse than that. <laughs> right, and, up, and the upstairs is the way to go to the bedroom. So this is a little different to the colonial. Yes, the Tell colonial. Tell me about the differences between this and the colonial. Besides the obvious differences, what is someone looking for when they come here? So the wooden house is the thing because for the room, yes, you can find any beautiful room in other hotels around the world, but this is the wooden house. And the signs of the wood, the smell of the wood. Yes, this is very classic and it is unique. We used to have guests, yes, to come here and we assigned them to stay in Colonial and they said, no, no, I don't want to stay in a room. I want a house. I want the wooden house or the villa. So this is like another I want this special. house. Yes. Yeah, it's so <laughs> the bedroom so this way. So we actually experience a feeling of staying in a house rather than just a hotel room. That's right. You have oh. your own space, the whole two-story house, bedroom, upstairs, downstairs, living room. Lunch pool, private, uh, bathroom. And what a view. This is yes. amazing. That's right. Your own private little deck with a view of rice paddy fields and just beautiful looking apartments. And another special thing in the villa zone is we have 69 villa and each villa we decide differently. Each really? individual villa, we have character for that. So that gives me 69 more choices to make. That's right. And choosing. That's which right. Which means I'll need to stay here for probably another 69 more days to ensure I choose wisely. That's right. Fantastic. <laughs> and this side, this is the um, walk-in closet, housing, bathroom, the, sh the rain shower. And here's another fun thing. Maybe take a look. Shower with a view. Yes. In the view out, not in, right? <laughs> <laughs> and 
we can close. Actually, if you want more privacy. Oh, you can close it. Yes, it's like. Oh, like, can we open it more? Yes, of course. Even better. <laughs> wow, look at this bath. That's right. The same go. facility as in the uh, Colonial Suite. It's everyone, everything, but it's a totally different atmosphere. So, so this this place would you class this as a place more for families or more for couples or parties? I mean, it's it seems like it's suitable for everything. That's right. That's right. I can tell because it can be for honeymooner mm. as well, and also for family that we can as a private for the children that we have plenty space to run around, yeah. play hide and seek. There is plenty of walking space. Nothing's that's too right. tight. That's right. But everything is so well laid out. It's that's right. So the thing is um, space for the people. This is wow. another top suite of the hotel. Wow. <laughs> you call the deluxe two bedroom resident with pool. Two bedroom, private pool, sauna room, and a swing. Beautiful view up there. Wow. <laughs> Actually, we named this room as the Mandalay Suite. Mandalay is the name of the old capital city of Burma. So in Lana, in the history, we do have the connection again with Burma. So we get some inference, some of the smell of the Burmese under the colonization tongue in this suite. Wow. <laughs> and yes, a baby grand. Grand piano. <laughs> That's so beautiful. This is the master bedroom. And a working desk, and I believe anyone who comes and stay don't want to work. Just to stay and relax. Uh, I will not be working there. <laughs> I will be everywhere else, but but working. not here. <laughs> yeah. And at the back again, the walk-in closet and. Uh, Are you serious? I didn't see this before. Wow. Huh. <laughs> I never realized. This oh, is the bedroom. This is the bathroom. Fantastic. Oh, well, this is beautiful. Wow. So, is this like a bird feeding <laughs> thing without birds? Actually, the fountain. Actually, is a lion. Oh, it's a lion? Uh, in the Chinese culture, yes. Like at the, at the, what you call, like on the table, you have like this one, right? Yep. At the end. And it's how many nails it is. The more it means it, this one is for the higher position, like oh. for the king, so oh. for the high position. So, so it's, it's it's perfect three. for me. Yes, <laughs> yes, actually. Great. That's right. Wow, it's like. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You go get this checked. <laughs> okay, sure. I will call engineer. Thank you. <laughs> I want to Sorry for inconvenience. And this is the, another bedroom, the twin bed. Wow, beautiful. 
The thing that I like is this one. Climate control. <laughs> yes. Do you have like two men outside winding down <laughs> the rope? And also another surprise view from the outside. We have the swing here. Swing? Yes, a swing. Like Would you like to come up? Yeah. I love swing. swing. Yes. A swing, not a swim. Not a swim, it's a swing that no, you can swing. relax and enjoy up here. Here we are at the La Grand Lana, and tonight we have the chef uh, with um, us, yes. and it's our honor to be with her, and she will explain the food to us uh, about tonight's dinner. All right. So for the the food that we're gonna serve for you, we have appetizer, we have main, and then we have like dessert. So for the appetizer, that is like um, the nut and fruit. So we're going to serve you like a dipping sauce, the green dipping sauce, show my sauces, and like a pork sauces as well. Yeah, okay, that one. so this Thai restaurant mainly serve the Norton style? Yeah, yeah normally, yeah, this is Norton, yeah, for okay. this one. But we have the Sento as well. But so the, with a little bit of Sento dishes yeah, as well? Yeah, for this one. Okay. So and then uh, for the appetizer, we have the order of Mueang, in Thai called order of Mueang. Yeah, that is as I tell you. And then we have the soup that is Tom Yam Kung. Okay. Yeah, spicy soup with prawns. Okay. That, that one, right. Um, so tell us more about uh, how you prepare the menu. When you come here, I believe you joined here not long ago, which is about six months ago. So mm -hmm. have you done any changes to the menu? Uh, so for, for the menu is it's already set. It's already yeah, set. Yeah, it's already set so yeah, for this one. So because we have like a big shape in charge already, yeah, for this one. Okay. So, and depend on the season, so. Yeah, so you do one. change the menu according to the season? Yeah, that, that, that one as well. But it's a popular, that is order okay. mung. That is, we didn't change because this is like a symbol. You know, it's a not turn. Yeah, okay. for this one. Okay. Yeah, right. So tell us more about the main dish. The, the main dish so for today, we have 
ยำเนื้อย่างองุ่น that is like a beef salad with grapes okay. right. and we have um, แกงขั่วสับป,ประรด that is like a pineapple curry mm. yeah, for this mm. one and then we have ปลาทอดกระเทียมพริกไทย deep fried fish with like um, garlic and pepper sauce mm. and the last one of the main the main course that is sayote stir fry sayote is the um, It's like another kind of the northern pumpkin, okay. yeah, the leaf of the northern pumpkin yeah, with s h i t a k e mushroom. Tell us how do you prepare this uh, pumpkin, you know, uh, briefly. Uh, so for the stir fry, right? Uh, the pumpkin, yeah, yeah. So for the sayote, it's like um, it's not a big pumpkin like Halloween. No, that is okay. not. It's like a small pumpkin that is like a northern pumpkin. So we use the leaf of them, the top of the leaf of them. Okay. Yeah, the short one, and then we stir fry with oyster sauce and shiitake mushroom. All right. Yeah. So the taste is quite different from the the pumpkin, like a Halloween. Yeah. So this is to be sweeter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, what is for the dessert? Um, for the dessert, it's a uh, quite popular as well in Thai. Everyone knows that that is sticky rice with mango. Okay, that yeah. is one of my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> sweet sticky rice with mango. Welcome to Mandarin Oriental Darai t e v i Chiang Mai. We are at this kids club for the Paddy's Field planting experience. And today we have a special guest with us, uh, Christian Dowling from Australia, Melbourne. He is a professional photographer. Uh, maybe I let him introduce himself to you. Tell us more about you. All right. Well, I'm a photographer that's uh, been working in Los Angeles, uh, primarily shooting entertainment and celebrities uh, for the last three years. Um, uh, mainly working with Katy Perry for the last year, uh, fantastic singer and performer. And uh, I've come out here to experience life in Chiang Mai and and get a taste of the uh, the rice picking and growing experience. And uh, you know, I'm very excited by it all. This is just an amazing place, and very happy to be here. Okay, we look forward for the experience for this paddy's planting. The uh, regular rice, like jasmine, or basmati, I believe you have eat. Have been eating this, and then another one is a blue t e n n i s rice or the sticky rice. In these two type of rice, we have like plenty of species around the world. In Thailand, we have 10,000 species of rice. In Thailand, and we are the top country who export rice to the world. So yes, we have a rice research center, and yes, we know about rice a lot. We, some people just respect the rice because without rice, no life. Right? And here, one of the educational experience for you that you will know how to plant the rice. Right? The rice in the resort. This is a sticky rice. So it took four months. To harvest, the jasmine rice took six months. Different species, different style of planting. Start from buffalo. Right, <laughs> man. Just like it's always like yeah, that. Yeah, just like this. Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> Okay. This is easy. Today we are here to learn how to plant paddies, and we just have to pull out and wash the root, wash away the mud, and ready to be replanted to another place. This is the bed 
Actually, I'm a farmer. Yeah. Even though I don't grow paddies, I grew up as a farmer. Really? Yes. We plant vegetable. Wow. Not paddies. You've got great hands for a farmer, I've got to say. Yeah. I'm born with it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we do what we have been taught. Yeah. You put it out, small bunch, and wash away the mud as you pull it. Okay. In the water. In oh. the water. Oh. Yeah. See what they do is they pull it and they wash it. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Wow, I'm really going to have a newfound appreciation mm. for rice after this, I think. Oh, yes. We are here to save the earth. Wow, look at that. Wow. They are so clean. But we're washing it in muddy water. Yeah. The mud will be washed away by the muddy water. Isn't that logical? <laughs> okay. All I'll, right. I'll, I'll go with it. Yes. Wow. Over there? This is good, right? Okay, so right. what do we do? Let's start. We first ask the pro, how do we, we start? So pro, how do we do this? That much? Stick into the mud, okay. Uh, with some distance, which is about one feet apart. That seems easy. That's, that's very easy. I mean, look, watch this. So, you plant and go backward? Yes. Is that how we do what? it? Yes, like, hold it uh, like because a pen? This is efficient, you know, like, if we, like, hold, take it some like this, yeah. it mm. get more rice, then you put the whole thing down. This is called efficient. That's not going to make more rice than this, is it? No, no, this one get more rice than this. Oh. Because when this one, they don't have enough nutrition to get the rice. So it's like, it's like a whole bunch of kids in a small room fighting over some cake. That's right. Ah, okay, and okay. So we need to spread it around. Yeah. That's right. I got it, I got it. Okay. Yes. All right. When it's less, you get more. That's when right. it's too many, you get less. Yes. Or even uh, get nothing. Great. When did you become the smart one? <laughs> <laughs> I learned from Kung Fu. Obviously. All right. Look, my bunch is straight and your bunch is dispersing. <sighs> All right. Okay, let me, let me, Do, let me. Let's know. try it again. Ah, wow. no. No, it's not that straight. Thank you. Yes, we yes. have done it. Ah. <laughs> Immense power. But with these, you can't control. This doesn't make him hurt, but it's very sensitive. When you control him to go left and right, or can So he didn't ask for it because it's like it's this, this really cool accessory that all the buffaloes no. have got down the street. No. It's like, Johnny, this buffalo's like... got one, I want one too, no? No, this is how we do it. Every buffalo, we must, we must do this. Okay. Because on the pie in time, just like to pierce and then put the rope in and then teach them and then have to control. And it doesn't hurt them at all? That time it's hurt. Like okay. when you first like pierce your ears, ears yeah. uh, if you like to try pierce your nose, <laughs> no. um, your tongue and another thing. Not, but the, not today, but get used to it. Wow. Well, thank you. That's 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 a great insight. No problem. In, this is like some insight of yeah. the nerves and everything, but up the, up here, no nerves and anything. Like you can cut some tongue. Wow. Hey, you didn't even buy me a drink. <laughs> And yes, for, for the horn here, yeah, we some some buffalo. We don't mm. know the age of the buffalo by the horns, okay. but some cans. Like like this one, you can see the marks. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. So it's about twelve years old buffalo. How do these marks appear? Just naturally. Naturally. Yeah, naturally. Appear. From 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 like digging or just just. Just come up. Like, like, like the rings of the tree. You know, when you cut the tree, you see yeah. the rings that tell the age of that tree. Wow. The same here. All right, I don't know you that well, buddy, so... <laughs> <laughs>
And this place we call a craft village or the living museum that we built, no not built, we moved the old house from another province to show the lifestyle and the handicraft class that we provide here for the guests. And this is the lot beautiful teachers that they're here to teach the guests if they would like to know some handicraft and some lifestyle people here. And we have guests to be here like the whole day trying making all the simple small things like the bamboo weaving and all this. Very nice to learn. Today we are having the director of sales and marketing uh, of Mandarin Oriental Dara Devi Chiang Mai and uh, it's great to have you here with us Diane so uh, could you tell us a bit more of your role here? Uh, my pleasure. Um, as you mentioned, I, my responsibility is sales and marketing. So basically, I, my job is to bring guests um, to stay with us at the resort, to let them know why they should come to Chiang Mai, why should they choose Mandarin Oriental Dara Devi, and not just the resort itself, but the facilities within the resort. For example, many people come for the spa and wellness. It's a very important part of our resort. So depending on their interest to, to find what is the key that is going to interest them to stay in our resort. Okay, so tell us a bit more about Chiang Mai, you know, why they come to Chiang Mai. Certainly. Um, for me, the 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 attraction of Chiang Mai is, first of all, it's relatively unspoilt by commercialism yet. I think it's still a very fresh, new destination, yes. newer destination yes. in Thailand. The people are very gentle. The northern Thai hospitality is legendary. Um, I think the climate is more moderate than in the south um, due to the altitude that we have here. So it's a much more gentle climate. Um, and there's many activities for all types of people to enjoy. So whether it's very active, looking for adrenaline rush, or more gentle, or healing, or just relaxation, or shopping, <laughs> for example. They have some great golf, golf courses here, right? Excellent, yes. Do you know there's 18 golf courses within a one hour radius of this resort? Fantastic. 18. Wow. <laughs> the top, top five international Hmm, that is a place that golfer really want to come, right? Many people come for golf. Actually, that's the reason for their visit. So, yes. Yeah. So tell us uh, a bit more on your property. What are the special things that you have here? Oh, I think um, we're truly very special. The whole resort is a celebration of the culture of the northern region, the Lama Kingdom. Um, it's been created by our owner to celebrate um, the different aspects of the architecture and this culture and everywhere you walk in the resort you can feel and be absorbed into the culture. Yes. I it, think we're very privileged. Yes, it feels like uh, I'm walking into an ancient kingdom. Yes, and that's yeah. exactly how it was designed, like a, an ancient royal um, village. Mm. Mm. Okay, so uh, what about your target group? Can you tell us a bit more on sure. that? Um, geographically, it's global uh, because different nationalities travel at different times of the year according to their holiday periods, their, cel their national celebrations, so definitely worldwide. And um, in terms of segments within um, interests, it would be um, for wellness, it's a very big um, attraction. Many people know about our spa, mm. they know about the wellness programs and they come just for that. All right. Other people come for conferences or incentives. Mm. It's a reward for having been successful in their business, whatever country that is. Um, many people come with families for school holidays because it's so large here. Mm. That if the children are happy, and entertained, then the parents are also happy. So yes. that's successful. And then it's a very romantic honeymoon destination. So I, I can see that. <laughs> we can be many things to many people. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful place to be yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. And we have so much space. 
that even when the hotel is 100% full, you, you never feel a crush of people in any one area. Yeah, they, this is great. Yeah, <laughs> this is a great place to be here. It's space for everyone, right? Yes, mm. Mm. and I heard, uh, I mean, I can see that it's different on every corner of this That's hotel. Right. Yeah, yeah. it's is wonderful you can achieve that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, all credit to our owner, I believe. He, he has a vision and he's very artistic and very creative and he has surrounded himself with with a team of architects and and artists artisans who have really put this together. Yeah, yeah wonderful work. Well it's excellent to have you here to share a Mandarin Oriental Daradevi high tea. It's very popular amongst our, our in-house guests, but also visiting guests from outside. I think it's quite English, isn't it, by tradition, but um, people do enjoy it. So please, yes. join with me. Okay, Have it's fan tea. fantastic environment and the food, the dessert looks fantastic. Okay. Let's, Let's enjoy. enjoy. Bon I will, bon appetit. I will have it clean. Wow, beautiful. You must try. What are you going to try? Uh, I will try everything. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to decide where to start, isn't it? Yep. Thank you.